so in this video series tutorial as a first part of this video we are going to discuss what is feature selection and we will see feature selection using filter method okay so filter methods are basically methods uh, using which you can filter out some of your data columns okay so in this particular video you can uh, let me show you all this code so we will see uh, how we can remove the constant features okay so what are the constant features uh, just just give me a second and uh, let me brief you about the constant features i know you all have an idea about that but why it is important to remove the constant features is because let me say i have this uh, column marks and i have here 75 for all my three so let us say these are marks of three student and so uh, you see that it is a same value okay and if i take an average of these uh, particular values so that will also remain the same okay so you see that the average of this constant feature is also same okay so that means it does not have any discrimination power reason being that you cannot uh, this particular column column does not provide any differentiating ability between this or this column or this or this column okay so basically it does not uh, it is not a meaningful column which can help us okay so uh, we will start with importing our libraries and we will see how we will go ahead uh, in this python demonstration okay so i have imported pandas and uh, i am importing this numpy and uh, let me remove pandas from here because i will create a numpy data frame so you can see that i am creating three columns and uh, this is np.1 so i am creating uh, 100 records of one so this is simply one uh, column b is also i am creating a series of one and i am i am creating 100 records of a single digit one but what I'm doing that in order to create some variance, uh, I'm creating it. I'm just updating this column such as 0 to 11. I'm updating it as 0. So you uh, see that I created 100 uh, occurrences of 1. But then I have simply replaced 0 to 100 by 0. So basically just in order to create some variance. And here I am creating a column C. And here you can see I am randomly selecting values between 15 to 35 and i'm creating 100 instances so basically i'm creating a data frame of 100 records based on these particular criteria here i'm creating 100 ones here i'm creating 0 to 11 as 0 and then ones and here i'm creating uh, 100 records between 15 to 35 generated randomly okay then i am basically con concatenating it on the axis equals to one means by column okay let me run this and here I am creating a pandas data frame and I am providing these features here. Okay, and I am renaming the columns as column A, column B, and column C. You can see uh, here is the head of my data. So uh, here you can see it's all one. Uh, column B, as I mentioned you, uh, that 0 to 11 will be uh, my, uh, my zeros and then ones. And here column C is basically a randomly generated data between 15 to 35. All right. So let me show you the tail also. So you can see that uh, my column B has zero and ones. All right. So I will show you uh, basically I'm generating a random uh, train and test data set. Uh, since I do not have any target column here, otherwise you can use Escalance model, uh, uh, Escalance model selection and uh, import the train test split from there. And create your train and test set. Here I am simply taking my uh, up to 70 rows in the train set, and after, uh, or you can say that 0 to 69 are my train set, the rows number 0 to 69, and uh, 70 to 100 are my test set. So this is basically a quick way, and you can see that I can show you the test set, or similarly, you can check the train set also. So you can see this is my data now, all right. So now let me show you what is the variance of column A. It is zero. Why? Because uh, if I show you how I created the data, then you see that I have only one value in this particular data column. So the variance is zero, just as I displayed you in the Excel that uh, uh, it does not provide you any predicting power. So this particular column has no variance because uh, the only value in this particular cell is one 
and hence you can conclude that it does not provide you any differentiating ability uh, uh, mention uh, remember this term any differentiating ability to differentiate from one record to another because it has a, sim a single val value all right uh, let me show you the uh, variance of my column v which is here and that is 14.4% and if i show you the variance of column c then it is 33.84% uh, so uh, variance I know I hope you all know okay and so how can I get rid of and this is a simple example uh, you can make an idea that why do I need to do all this uh, all this coding for this simple problem but uh, the problem is not that simple the thing is that when you have a real life data uh, then your features can go up to hundreds and thousands in some cases okay so in that case you cannot run this particular command on each and every variable and then try to figure out that what are my constant uh, features so uh, that is why we basically use uh, this variance threshold from scikit-learn's feature selection so this is basically scikit-learn's module and i am importing my feature selection here and uh, here i am creating an instance of variance threshold which i have imported here and i am telling it that threshold equals to zero means any column that has a variance of zero uh, that should be captured here so i am not removing anything here i am just simply capturing or i am creating an instance of this variance threshold based on this uh, uh, threshold what i am providing and uh, i'm making this this name is a little longer but i have deliberately kept it like this so that it makes sense uh, and uh, you all may be able to follow it or understand it easily and then i'm fitting it on my train set so always remember that any selector or any feature any step uh, you do or uh, do it on your training uh, training data set okay and uh, here i am basically uh, fitting it on my training set and if i show you that what is the get support then you can see that it shows me that this is particular uh, command get support and it shows you that first is false so what does it mean that uh, basically my selector is supporting these two variables and is not supporting this particular variable in order to remain in my data stream uh, or model reason being uh, this probably provides the zero variance and you can see that this is indeed my first or column a so you can understand the order also that the first is false or you can simply provide it to your columns and you can say that i'm providing a train set dot columns and then then i'm providing the get support on my selector and so you can see that it has provided me column b and column c so basically it is telling you that uh, column b and column c do not have zero variance and those can be selected for your model so it has you can see that it has removed the column a because its variance was zero all right now uh, this is all about what my model has or why, what my selector instance has learned but so far we have not updated anything or we have not transformed our data or we, or you can say that we have not made any changes to our data to make the changes we need to call the transform method so here you can see that i am select i am using my selector method and i am using the transform and i am providing my train set and sim simultaneously i am providing my test set okay now you can see here if i show you then you can see that uh, these are basically my columns my first uh, column has been dropped and these are my second and third column and basically uh, every selector usually creates a numpy array so whatever uh, you use from scikit-learn it basically creates a numpy array so you can convert this particular uh, array into a data frame using the same uh, command as I showed you earlier, such as this uh, pd dot data frame. And here you can provide your uh, you you can provide here your numpy array. You can see that as it is here, it is my numpy array, and you can see that it is np dot one. So these are numpy arrays. So similarly, you can use this pd dot data frame and provide your train set and test set, and you can use these column. So basically it will then create this uh, or convert it to a data frame for you okay so this is basically a way you can just get rid of all your uh, constant features uh, using this uh, few line of code and it will be very helpful for you so basically i'm creating a whole series on the feature selection i have already created a series on feature engineering in python and i would highly recommend you to check it out and i will see you with another video 
please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel and i will meet you in another video thank you very much